candles and crosses are placed on a San Antonio road to remember the 51 people who have now died after being trapped in a hot truck. And now doctors and nurses are helping several survivors found alive in the truck. Dominique Newland is live in San Antonio this morning. Dominique, how are those survivors doing? Yvonne, inside this hospital, University Health, two survivors are being cared for, and one of those, a 23-year-old who happy to report, we're told is making great progress. Now, it's going to be a long road of recovery for these survivors, for their families, but let's first talk about the investigation, the information that we can confirm so far. Now, three people have been taken into custody by ICE's Homeland Security, who have now taken over the investigation. It's still unclear whether the trio is absolutely connected or not. As far as survivors, 16 people found inside the truck were taken to six San Antonio hospitals. Of those, at least three have died, 13 do remain hospitalized. Now, Mexican officials say at least 22 of the victims were from Mexico, seven were from Guatemala, and two were Honduran. Catholic Charities is taking the lead in helping survivors, and aside from assisting with housing, food, and clothing, once survivors leave the hospital, they plan to help with transportation should family members want to be with their loved ones. Now, Homeland Security said in a statement they will release more information as it becomes available. Last night, community members came together for a vigil to remember the 36 men, 12 women, and potentially some children who lost their lives. So really a community coming together, trying to lift each other up during these sad, tragic times.